Well, you can 3D print just about anything these days. The technology is getting better and more affordable, but we found a company taking 3D printing to a whole new level. They are 3D printing an entire home, and they are giving the traditional house a run for its money. News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval shows us how it's done right here in Brevard County. Meet Frank. Frank is a 3D printing robot and he's hard at work building an entire house. It's the four bedroom, four bath. From the ground up in a fraction of the time. Feel free to come on in. Trevor Ragno is technically Frank's boss. He is one of the pioneers of 3D house printing. Excuse us guys, we're uh, shooting right over here. We're inspecting your work guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's showing us the inside of this home near Melbourne that was just created using Frank the Robot. So what are we looking at in here? So yeah, there's a lot going on in here, but right now we've just kind of walked into a living room. We could take a couple more steps forward if you wanted to come in here. Um, we have a viewing area for kind of a living room. We have a TV that's being mounted here, okay. a recessed fireplace. Um, we have actually 3D printed some components on the ground, which are, uh, our, it's our mantle going across here, and an arch in the back that'll go up top. Frank was built by Brevard-based Apis Core, which is the company Travis works for as head of construction and building technology. Layer by layer, Frank pipes out rows and rows of concrete, which stack to form the walls of the house. And here's the thing, Frank doesn't get tired. As this time-lapse video shows, he can go all day and all night. That means this project doesn't need as many construction workers. Can we talk about affordability real quick? Absolutely, yeah. So, how does this solve the housing affordability problem? At least in the home that we're sitting in now, we're about 30% more affordable than what our neighbors are per square foot. Um, with that being said, I mean, our, our neighbor over here, uh, I think they're going on the market soon. Um, the older home back in, built back in the 80s, uh, I think it's a 3-2, 1,500 square feet. They're going on the market for 440, and they'll probably get it. Here, we aren't a 3-2, we're a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, we aren't built in the 80s, we're new construction. We're 2,100 square feet, not 1,500. Um, and we're right around with land, absolutely everything that goes into this, uh, including septic, well, all of the furnishings, a nice 75 inch Samsung TV, recessed fireplace, everything but the carpet and drapes, um, all comes to about 305. That $135,000 savings is just one of the benefits of a 3D printed home. Buildings like this also allow more flexibility in the design and shorter construction times. These homes can also stand up to hurricane force winds and earthquakes. But building codes haven't caught up with this technology, so it's making it a bit more challenging to build in some areas. And the need for fewer construction workers also means fewer jobs in the areas they're built. It does make a difference, and that's all that we can try to do. Uh, just make the best technology we can and get people homes. In Melbourne, Eric Sandoval, Getting Results, News 6. I mean, I have mixed feelings about Frank, but that savings on a home that's bigger and it comes partially furnished? Seems like it would be faster. It seems like it's cheaper. And I'm curious how energy efficient it is as well. I guess we'll find out as more people get into these. Might be the new thing. Yeah.